Yes, unfortunately, um, yesterday I was coming from uh, Shanghai and the airport was a bit of jammed and uh, the situation did, did look like uh, very, very uh, uh, bad. But overall, I would say that the, the, because of the trade war and the renminbi devaluation, of course, this is going to be quite a lot of headwind for the Hong Kong stock market. But uh, I wouldn't expect uh, uh, the, this kind of situation to last too long. I'm sure so sometimes in the future we're going to see some the, uh, uh, situation come down and hopefully the market can recover. You don't see a silver lining somewhat when it comes to the declines that we've seen on markets. If you think that there will be some sort of resolution and that markets will tick back, up, tick back up, you're not using this as an opportunity to pick up some of those big Hong Kong names that have really been under some significant pressure, the likes of Cathay Pacific, Swire, those kind of names. Sure, I'm sure at this point of time, I think a lot of the stock have been overly killed. I think this is probably the, is the right time to watch uh, development and maybe there will be some of the uh, uh, good uh, sort of opportunity to pick up some stock being overly uh, 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 downgraded or overly sold. I think, uh, but uh, still, I would say we should look at the more broader base. I think, I think in the wide, in the, in the global sense, we see uh, opportunity maybe in the, some other areas as well, like India and so on, because this kind of the trade uh, uh, war between China and the US, and particularly the overhand concern on the renminbi devaluation, probably is going to have much less impact on the Indian economy. And, uh, and of course, the Russian economy also will indirectly benefit. But still, I think the overall situation remains uh, uh, quite uh, uh, challenging because the China and the US trade war is not going to have a time anytime soon to be resolved while the other, uh, uh, other uh, uncertainties like in Europe, uh, in the Latin America, it look like it's going to continue. So we are in the kind of the risk off mode. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.